Hey guys, welcome back to WND Tech. On this channel, we look at computer technology and gaming. And if you're new here, maybe drop us a like on this video and check out some other videos and then maybe subscribe. In today's video and in, in today's market, more likely is that we're all struggling trying to, to play games. Uh, for those of us that do actually want to play games, it's extremely hard to find the components, especially the GPU. So what we've done in conjunction with eBuyer, who sent us pretty much everything you can see here, hopefully you can see that. Um, if you didn't see us build this, we did a live build stream a couple of weeks back now. So um, that is on the channel, go and check that out. It is quite a long video, but I have put timestamps in it so that you can jump to certain parts of the video if you want to, uh, or just watch the whole thing and help bump our viewing hours up. But anyway, this whole system was sponsored by eBuyer with the, the premise that we want to show that you can still game on an averagely priced PC and still have a fairly decent experience. And that is what we're gonna look at today. So let's go over what's inside the computer. Okay, let's have a look at this machine. So this case here, uh, I was really surprised. It's about 50 pounds and it's from eBuy themselves. They manufacture this one. I'll put the name of the case down below so you can see this one. As you can see, there are two 200 mil fans on there and one 120 on the back. Both, or all three ARGB, so uh, you can customize that. As you can see, we've done the orange to match our colors. Quite bright actually, not bad at all. So in here we've got the Gigabyte Aorus B550 Pro, uh, onboard Wi-Fi, this is obviously the full ATX version. We'll put links for everything down in the description. And not much to this one really. We've got a 500 gig um, Accelerate or PNY NVMe SSD in there. You can't see it because it's got the uh, heatsink on it. A Ryzen 5 3600, not the X, just the 3600. This is an averagely priced PC. We've got some LPX RAM in there, 16 gigs of that, which is more than enough for the average user. And then we've got a 500 watt gold, 80 plus gold uh, power supply from a make I've never heard of before, Colink. That's the Enclave. Uh, seems pretty good. Fully modular power supply. Very, very nice. So that is the GeForce GT 710. I think I may have said 1070 in the last video, in the build video, but I actually meant 710. And uh, yeah, it's not really made for gaming. It's just for a display output. But we're gonna see what kind of experience we have on the GT 710. So uh, that's the machine. Anything else you wanna know, post comments in the comments down below and uh, we'll try and answer them best we can. Anyway, let's get on with uh, some gaming, shall we? Okay, so as you can see, I've got my daughter. This is Grace. I don't think she's been in a video before. This is the first time. And she's gonna be playing some of the uh, more sort of children orientated games such as we're gonna be playing. <laughs> Fortnite, Minecraft, Roblox. <laughs> Roblox, yes. Of course she likes. we're going to do Roblox because I like Roblox in the first place. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to do Roblox. So, um, Gracie, do you want to load up Epic? And we're going to start with Fortnite first and just see what kind of experience we get out of the box. See, she knows what she's doing. She's loading up Fortnite. This is the first time we've run this, so we're going to leave it as when you first install the There's game. There's a new background. That is, yeah. It's so cool. I like that girl. Yeah, they've just had a recent update as well to uh, add some high detail textures. What? I know, that is so I know. Weird. I don't know what's going on with Fortnite. I haven't played this for ages. So, are you excited to play Fortnite? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> when did you um, last play Fortnite? Um, on my brother's. On your brother's computer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, Gracie, can you click confirm? So, what this is going to do is going to find the best settings for the system. So, we're it's going to be interesting to see what it sets as. So, uh, Battle Royale, she knows where to go. I don't even need to tell her where to go. 
I know what I'm doing though, do you can't change the sound? I know, I know, I don't need to tell you. Just looking at that, it's not high detail, that's for sure, but I'm not expecting it to be. But uh... He doesn't really expect it to be at that outfit because... Yeah. Yeah, so... Out of the box experience you're seeing here guys, this is a GT710 on a Ryzen 5 3600. Playing Fortnite. Uh, we will go through the settings in a minute very, very quickly, but it's more important that we see what kind of experience you're gonna get. How are you finding it, Gracie? Uh, I found it really hard, but it's really easy. Really hard, but very easy? Yeah. How, d how does that work? I honestly really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you got one minute to get to get into the circle, dude. Holy moly, what's that up there? What's up in the sky? What is that? I mean, I haven't played this for ages, but wow. Oh, pretty! Uh-oh, watch out everyone. Boom, boom! Hold on, I need to fill up the car. I mean, me and my car. Boom, boom! Oh, um. God. How do I get out? How do you get out? Uh, oh. Press, hold, yeah. Where is everyone? 37 people left. You're trying to fill it up? Oh, you have? Oh, well done. Hi! <laughs> I'm driving like a normal person. Up! Oh. Yeah, yeah, totally like a normal person. <laughs> I can't really drive here. <laughs> Ooh! Uh-oh. Disaster. Quick, hide. Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, that's not too bad. It's I like hate lots him. Of fun. Anyway, uh, let's check the settings while we're here. So let's quickly go through the settings. We're on windowed full screen mode. This is all pretty much default. The only one that I've changed here is the frame rate limit. For some reason, it set it on 30. Uh, I set that to unlimited, as you can see. And let's briefly go down here. So it is on low. That's the lowest one. I wonder whether we could actually increase that because the frame rate was uh, seemed quite high and completely playable. Uh, so yeah, pretty much everything is on low. We're in DirectX 11 mode there. Uh, allow multi-threaded rendering was on actually. So that takes advantage of the CPU that we've got in there, the six core 12 thread CPU. Yeah, pretty much everything on low. So what we're gonna do, um, we are going to change the preset to medium. So there we go. Harley it's Quinn. You can definitely see that it's a little bit laggy there. Hopefully that shows on camera. But it's actually still completely playable. I was and there. Don't forget, GT710 guys, not bad at all. Right, let's go back to lobby and uh, let's do the next game. Okay, so we're gonna move over to Minecraft and once again, Grace is gonna take the keyboard. So let's see how she's doing. Okay, so we've gone into one of the default worlds. This is mine. What does it say in, oh, mine. over there? Mine, turn, turn, Mineplex. 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 Um, do you know what you have to do in this one? Yeah. You do? Oh, why is that not Steve? Uh, because everyone is spawning from the same place. So if you move in a minute, there you go. You can't move yet until you're, you've got five seconds. Go, 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 go. So you've got a speed build. Recreate the build shown to you in the last correct build. Uh, re Let's read this again, shall we? Oh, do you know what you're building? I don't know what to say, but I'm just building my own. Just building your own thing. It doesn't matter, does it, Grace? Mm -mm. No, it doesn't really matter. Oh, a tree? Um, okay. You have to speed build a tree. Go. Speed build a tree. Oh yeah, she's on it. You got 52 seconds, 51 seconds left. I say you might as well fly, Grace. Look at that, you got 34 seconds left. Do the other side as well, Grace. Can't you move? I think if you go out the area, you go spawn back into where you started, so don't go too far out, isn't it? You've got 10 seconds, Grace. Do the other side, quick. Do this side, yeah, 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 come on. Come on, Grace, come on, Grace. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, being yeah. judged, being judged 12% correct. All right, guys, so we've joined Cubecraft. It's really hard to find a decent Minecraft server in the Bedrock version or the Windows 10 That's version it. of Minecraft. But yeah, as you can see there, there's a lot going on on the screen. Loads of stuff being built there. 
and having no troubles playing the game at all. Oh wow, what's that? Why are you in? Why are you trapped? Bring the enemy's flag to your base. Ah, oh, so it's capture the flag, Grace. Do you know what capture the flag is? I know. So you got four, three, two, one. Go get the flag, bro. Ah. Go, go, go. Don't fall down there. So you have to go to the enemy base. Go round. No. Oh. Park. Go. Oh no. Flag taken. Oh, someone's taken the flag. So. See if you can find the guy that's got the flag, so you know what it looks like. Oh, they've dropped it. Go get it. That's enemy, that's enemy. Oh no, he's got you. So yeah, it's playing Minecraft really, really well. Grace is having a great time. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's coping absolutely fine on a GT710. So we're gonna move on to something a bit more heavy now, and we're gonna bring in Will. Alrighty, so we've got Will here now. He's going to be talking through how he plays Minecraft on his system and how it compares with this GT710 because he plays it slightly differently to how, say, I would play it. So, um, first of all, hey Will, how are you doing? Hello, Long time no see. Hello, Will and Dadders. Um, as you can see, the FOV on the game is set to 60.40 or 60.40 if you want to be very, very technical about it. Um, See, I don't like playing like this for obvious reasons, so you can see more. I always set it to the max, and then you can see so much more. Although this can opt uh, this can affect your um, FPS and input lag. Yeah, that it can affect that dramatically um, because of how much it has to render to and how much it has to like analyze to go on the screen in a way. Describe the uh, the gameplay on this system how how is it um, how is it slow what do you mean slow like there's a lot of input lag like a lot so how much would you say i mean we've got no way of measuring this we don't have any of that kind of gear but if you just do a simple like twist of the the mm, mouse oh, a little 10. bit how much you can see if i move it to the left mm, to the right I can see that more on the camera than I can on the screen, actually. Maybe we can do a slow-mo of the mouse moving and, and it moving on the screen. Exactly. That's crazy. That's quite a lot, actually. So that's only with increasing the field of view to 110 in Minecraft. Normally, you wouldn't. most players probably don't do that. Anyway, uh, well, we're going to move on to what game we're going to do next. Apex Legends? Apex Legends. So let's uh, get that one loaded. Did I just stare that thing on my face? <laughs> Oh my god, look how this is going to be an experience, that's for sure. How much detail can you see in that? But um, this is Apex, let's just see what the actual experience is like, firstly. I mean, it's not looking great, to be honest with you. It might be pushing it a bit with this game. All right, here we go. Will's going in, he's going to be playing on controller because that's how Will likes to play. Yeah, Will's, Will's, Will's literally laughing his head off right now. He's a um, But the, that, that isn't the thing. The thing is, can you play it? Is it an okay experience for someone that wants to just play games that can't buy a graphics card? Because that's really what this is about. No. Oh my god. I mean, on camera, it <gasps> kind of looks okay, but it looks like we're playing on a PlayStation 2, if I'm fair. Yeah. Oh gosh, the frames. It, it has more frames when I look at the sky. 1360 by 728. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Okay, so it does. Definitely. Look that. a bit better. Look at the ship details. Look at the stairs as we get closer, as it's far, farther away. So that's to do with the anti-aliasing, which we don't have turned on, but we have set very low. Definitely does look a bit better though. So we're going to increase the texture filtering to trilinear. Ooh. Let's see what that looks like. That's made a bit of difference. The FPS has definitely just died. <laughs> No, I don't think it's that bad. In all honesty, Will, I don't think it's actually that bad. I think you could totally play this. Mm. I mean, not competitively, obviously, but you could totally play this. But if you, if you, if you, if you want... couldn't play anything else and you really wanted to play Apex Legends, then this is what it's like on a GT710. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we note some areas where the frame definitely drops there. Unfortunately, the stats aren't showing up on the screen, so we can't show you. I mean, all right, so we've gone back really down to 720. 
It's just this area is very FPS killing. Yeah, on this map there are certain areas. I just definitely kill the FPS, like Will said. Go on, take him out, Will. Take him out. Oh, do you see that? All right, guys. So it's that down to me now. I'm going to be playing Doom Eternal. As you can see, ID software. Let's uh, let's see how this goes, shall we? Doom Eternal. Here we go. Can I skip the intro? Why do games not let you skip the intro these days? I really don't want to see the intro right now. I just want to get into the gameplay. Yeah, we can skip this bit. Let's see if we can get into some actual gameplay. Oh my god. So Doom Eternal, guys. Here we go. Let's see what the lag's like on the mouse. Oh, here we go. Can I move yet? Look how fast that gun came up. Oh my god. This must be like two frames a second or something. Oh my god, do I get them? Yeah. Come on, gun, reload. Oof. Oh, let's do a headshot. Boop. Oh my god. I forgot how gross Doom was. Um, I can't play it like this. This is unbearable. So what we're going to do, we're going to reduce the graphical settings. Let's just see out of the box where it's put them. Uh, so video is done full screen, 16 by 10, because that's what this monitor is. It's set the resolution to the native. It hasn't even bothered to reduce the resolution. So we're going to reduce it right down to the bottom one, which is 1280 by 800. So we've got a couple of things set to low, and everything else is set to high. No wonder this thing is struggling. So we're going to change that from custom to... Uh, we're going to change that to... Let's just set it to low. Let's see if we can improve our FPS. Oh, oh, the resolution has definitely changed. All right. It's, oh, yeah. That's a way more responsive experience there. So um, let's get back to the game, shall we? And see if that experience follows through. So we're capped out at 60 that's the maximum the monitor can cope with oh look at that drop down to 11. <laughs> let's go through the door knock knock yeah shooting is not a great experience not around that way i've not played this game before guys i bet you're shouting at me saying go left go left go down the stairs yeah it's not a great experience if i'm honest with you it's um, definitely laggy when you're trying to shoot uh, melee attacks, great. Absolutely amazing. They're fine. Oh. Okay. So we've got to punch it out of the way then. All right, it's the last game. We're going to play BF5 or Battlefield 5. We're going to see how this performs. I haven't run this before on this, so I have no idea how this is going to play out. It could be as slow as um, the game we just played, Doom Eternal, so who knows. I mean, it's loading up in a window to start with. Hopefully that goes full screen in a minute. All right, so before we play a quick game, we're going to go through the settings. It's defaulted to 1680 by 1050 again, so we're going to reduce that. Let's take it down to 720 if it'll let me do that. Oh, yeah, here we go. 1280 by 720 at 60, so we're only going to get a max 60 uh, FPS on that. I don't think we're going to go anywhere near that, to be honest with you guys. Um, it's just not going to happen on this graphics card. But we just want to know what kind of experience, or you can see it's got a lot fuzzier there, as you would expect at 720p. Uh, what I want to do is turn off motion blur, because that is an awful setting that shouldn't be on any games ever. Alrighty, here we go, Battlefield 5, and already we can see the frame rate is not amazing. We're probably very similar to what we were in Doom Eternal. Let's see what the experience is like. Pretty much similar, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> this is not going to be a great experience. Okay, let's get back in the game. All right, here we go. Squad spawn. Let's not get shot. Oh, come on, bro. All right, so we're near where we were before, but we're going to try not to get shot this time. But yeah, we're looking around the same sort of frame right here, probably about 10 to 15, maybe even less in certain situations. So the problem is when you get games that perform this bad that weren't really designed for this type of graphics card is that you get a huge amount of input lag and that that's obviously going to have a negative effect on your gameplay you're not going to be able to play a game like this at all 
it's just pretty much impossible. Yeah, I think we've seen all we need to see in this one. I, you can see it's very similar to Doom Eternal. It's not a great experience. And uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get anywhere with this one. All right, so there we go. That is the reason reasonably priced PC that we built on our live stream from eBuyer. So um, thank you to eBuyer for supplying all the parts for this build. We do have a few other videos planned for this. As I said, the main goal for this PC was not really to showcase the GT710. We just thought it would be a bit of fun and we'd bring you guys along for the ride and see what kind of experience you can get out of a pretty cheap graphics card this one this graphics card i think was at the time of purchase or the time the price when ebay gave it to us was about 49 pounds i think it's gone up a little bit now but um if it's your last resort and it's the only thing you can buy because there, there literally is nothing available right now then you can play games on it for sure just as we've said in other videos that we've done similar to this one on our 11 year old CPU, we did the similar thing to that one as well, but this is on a modern system. You, you've got to lower your expectations and not go for the AAA games like Doom Eternal, Battlefield 5. Hell no, you're not going to be playing the new Battlefield when it comes out, not on this one, but you've got a system, if you build this one, that you can put a graphics card in when they're available and you've got a nice system now we might do some other videos with other graphics cards we've got um i've got a really old one gigabyte with one gig of ram a 9800 gtx uh from nvidia really old card and we can see how that one performs we may do that in another video i don't know it kind of gives you an idea of what you can expect with this type of system so we're definitely gpu bottlenecked here as you could see some games run fine some games i wouldn't even touch with a barge pole on this system but um, stay tuned and like this video and get subscribed because the next video with this system, we are going to be showing how you can play top-notch games like the ones the last two we've just played on there and still get a very good frame rate uh, by uh, streaming services. So uh, we're going to give you our take on the services that are available out there and um, just to show you that you can still go and buy that PC that you want to buy or buy that pre-build. Um, although if it's a pre-build it'll probably have a really good graphics card but if you really do want to build your own computer and you're just waiting for that gpu like like the rest of the world at the minute then get your computer just put it doesn't have to be the 710 you can get an rx 580 or whatever the equivalent is on the amd side um and just just roll with it just roll with it for a little while and then upgrade your gpu when you can when they're available hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed maybe next year i reckon they'll be starting to become available that that's pretty much it guys don't forget to give this video a like get subscribed if you're not already check out this video build we did when we did the live stream um it should be the pre the last one before this so um, i'll put it up on the screen as well so you can just go and click on that if you want to and um hope it was enjoyable for you as it was for us and thank you to will for actually appearing in a video he said he wouldn't appear in any videos but he's actually appeared in a video this time so hopefully that means good things are coming anyway guys thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one